This is Martin LaMonica from CNET News. Earlier this week, I got a tour of IBM's Green Innovation Data Center in Southbury, Connecticut from Program Director Peter Guasti. Peter, uh, can you well tell us first of all what you're what you're looking at here um, behind you, and, and tell us why it's so quiet where we are. <laughs> these, these actually they look like posters right now, but they're actually dual function. They actually uh, have a aesthetically looking images on it, but they're actually the real purpose of these is actually acoustic panels. They actually deaden the, the ambient noise in the room so that you can actually be more uh, pleasant in here when you're in here, so it's not as noisy as as high and, and hurting your ears. These actually act as a uh, dual purpose. So they're actually acoustic panels to actually dampen the noise in the room. Right. Now the picture you're, you're behind you is actually of the thermal map of this data center, and I guess all the, the green points on there are uh, are sensors. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the first step in this was that we, we, we instrumented the lab. We instrumented the lab with over 200 sensors. Then we went to the next step of that is we connected them. So now all the sensors are connected so they can actually, we can talk together. And we aggregated them into one focal point in a programmable logical control. And now we're applying intelligence on that, pulling the information off of that aggregation point to figure out what's valuable information at data center to help us optimize the data center efficiency in terms of energy, power, and cooling. So that's where we're at right now. We want to apply IBM software and technologies to, to actually uh, create the data center and make it more dynamic so that it can actually dynamically adjust cooling levels to the thermal load of the environment. Now, you said there are about 200 sensors in here and they're all placed in yeah. front of and behind servers, right? Right. Or, or storage units. Yeah, there's about 200 sensors. Again, they're placed, they're placed within the front of the racks, in the, behind the racks, and in the ceiling and floor. So we get a good picture of the thermal uh, envelope of the room. But, but, but it's automated, correct? Yes. I mean, Correct. It's we're, it's we're actually at the point now where we're applying the intelligence to make it much more efficient in how we automate this data center. So there's just too much information coming in so that a human can actually look at it. So we actually have to automate that so the data coming in can be correlated to figure out what's important and what valves and, and variables can we adjust to control to affect the environment to, to make it operate into an into a optimal zone. Right? Now what, what kind of piece of equipment can you control? Because I mean, because it's an IT system, but you're linking back to the heating and cooling, right. right? So, so we actually can we actually sense the information from the environment. We pull power, energy information off the IT equipment. But we actually control the facilities equipment. And the facility equipment are things like the computer room air conditioning units. We can actually uh, control the the fan speed in them to apply more cooling into the room if needed, or less cooling depending on the thermal load, based on the sensor information. We also, on selected devices that are very highly utilized, we have localized rack level cooling. We can actually control how much liquid cooling or chilled water gets, gets sent to those specific rack level devices so that if we find out that a particular server is being highly utilized and the temperature is increasing, we can actually uh, control the water flow to that to actually make sure it maintains the same operational range. I mean, you've been doing, you've been collecting this data for a while. I mean, how much variability is there? I mean, I guess, I guess, what kind of picture do you see in, in some yeah, of the data? Right now, we're still in the collecting the data phase, but we can tell you that for sure that that this, the, the the environment isn't isn't fixed, right? It constantly changes depending on workload. So these systems here are are used throughout the corporation around the world. Uh, up to 360,000 IBMers around the world access the system. So the workload is very variable, right? So depending on who's accessing them at the time of day, it does change. So you actually can't set it at a fixed constant cooling uh, point and, and, and satisfy the, the, uh, the, the thermal dynamics of the room. So we actually see this fluctuate quite frequently depending on the time of day. So we're actually in that stage now where we're actually collecting that data, trying to analyze it, figure out what we could do to better use that to, to optimize the room. Okay, and all this will be eventually make its way back into IBM products, yeah, hardware and software, right? Yeah, we're actually working across IBM with IBM hardware and software divisions, at system technology group and Tivoli uh, software brand to, to actually take this information into and they're actually incorporate it into their products. Okay, at some all right. point. Great. All right, well, thanks for the, the info, Peter. You're